Okay, we're live. Hey, everybody. Deborah Dixon Anderson here uh, from Go Wellness Circle and Light of Gold PR. It's Wellness Wednesday, and I'm so thrilled to have my friend and guest, uh, Anthony Tony Smith. Um, who's a life coach. And we're going to talk a little bit about stress and anxiety. And we're also going to talk about meditation and just some tools that you have in your arsenal that you can use just to help you de-stress um, from day to day. You know, So that's what we're going to talk about. So um, most of you know who I am, Deborah Dixon Anderson, founder of uh, Gold Wellness Circle and Light of Gold PR. We're working on Women's uh, Business uh, Connect Conference for March 31st. That's coming up in Manhattan at Mercy College. And our Alzheimer's event is coming up uh, in June. So we'll let you know more about that. You can go to GoWellnessCircle.com or LightOfGoldPR.com. Go Wellness Circle really started in response to COVID, to be honest with you. It started in response to COVID. It was a wellness initiative. Tony, you remember those times we, we were told to, to um, kind of shelter in place. We couldn't see each other at the Montclair Y anymore. And so a lot of us just started going to uh, workout classes with Ted. I started teaching Zumba classes and, and that just kind of took a life of its own. We started doing yoga and all these topics. And so now two years later, almost three, a Go Wellness Circle is officially a nonprofit. And so now we are starting to do events and wellness programming like this right here. And so welcome, Tony. So happy to have you and just share with everybody because now we're on LinkedIn and Facebook and YouTube. Just share with everybody a little bit about yourself. Hey, guys, again, Deborah, again, thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, I'm so excited to be here Uh uh, as Deborah said, I'm a life coach. I've been a life coach for about five years. And the subject that we're talking about is meditation. And what I usually do is I like to tell you, you know, why I got started with it, you know, what propelled me to do it. And I'm the oldest of 11 children, um, nine, uh, eight boys and two girls, excuse me, nine boys and two girls there, uh, my mom and dad passed away. They did the best they could, but in the process, um, I had issues with trauma, I had issues with all kinds of uh, domestic abuse with my mom and dad and children abuse, you know, tough to raise one child, let alone, you know, 11 children. And <clears throat> in the process, uh, after coming out of, you know, going to college, you know, and being on my own. Uh, I was working on myself pertaining to the personal development, getting my, my head right and therapy and doing whatever it takes, you know, to get past the whole trauma thing. And one of the things that came across, which really revolutionized my life was this thing called meditation. Something that in essence, that uh, in essence, it's been around for just so long, but um, but it's, it's, it's given me the impetus as a life coach, uh, to be able to present this to people and how in essence, this thing can virtually change your life. Like it's changed my life in such a profound way, you know, with life coaching, you know, I do the, you know, the fitness thing and the nutritional thing and paying attention to your focus. But the, the meditation thing has been profound because in the society where we're inundated with just so much information, uh, it can make a change. So, yes. Thank you, Deborah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Tony, for being so transparent. So let, let me tell you what, you know, I love so much about Tony is he's so transparent, but he is a life coach who has literally transformed his own life. Those are the types of life coaches you want to work with. He's lost like massive quantity of weight, 60 to 80 pounds, right, Tony? He does all pounds. these Iron, Iron Man challenges. And what do you call those? What do you Quadrate. call them? Yes. Quadrate. Yeah, he does all of this stuff. He walks the walk and talks the talk. And so he's incorporated meditation into his life it's totally transformed my life that's the best thing about doing a lot of wellness when you you transform your life and you show others how to transform theirs 
And so I think that's so powerful, just looking at, you know, what you've been able to do. So we're, we're going to just jump right into it, uh, everybody, because we just have about five to seven minutes. We're going to be on, we're going to, you know, Tony and I are going to chop it up a little bit. And if you want to com comment, if you have questions, go ahead, drop it into the comments. I'll, you know, go ahead and we'll mention it. So one of the things uh, I would like to mention, it is Black History Month. Um, you know, we will talk a little bit just about like what's going on today with racial justice, just the stress and trauma that black people deal with, especially when we see someone like a Tyree uh, Nichols get brutalized and murdered be, be before our eyes, the PTSD of COVID, which we're all dealing with. OK, everybody's dealing with it um, and just everything else that we deal with day in and day out life and jobs and families and all of the stressors that we deal with day in and day out, how do we provide ourselves with self-care? How do we keep the anxiety at bay? How do we manage that? And you know, one of the things I'd like to also mention is just putting yourself on a diet from your phone and from, from news and everything, because it just assaults our senses all the time when you just keep seeing the same news stories. Now, I know with racial injustice, we want to do something. I still believe in signing petitions, voting, exercising our voices. We still have to do that. But in this life, in your body, how do you deal with the trauma? I, I'm traumatized every, every time I see something happen to a young Black man and I see my, my stepson. Um, I see my nephews, I see my cousins, I see my family members and the anxiety that I deal with day in and day out, just worrying about them and all I, I pray for them and their safety every day. But just the reality of, you know, police brutality, the racial injustice is real. It's real for those of us who are people of color, who are uh, African-Americans. This is what we are, are dealing with. So, you know, Tony, please chime in on that as well. Deborah, thank you very much. And again, happy Black History Month to you and uh, everybody. Uh, so many heroes, you know. Um, so many. So many heroes there. And, um, you know, I am, you know, before I talk about the heroes, that the first thing I want to say is can't make any excuses about, you know, Bruce. Bruce, uh, police brutality, you know, what's right. been going on, racism, you know, we, yeah. I mean, we can go on and on and on, yeah. you know, we don't have to debate that there, you know, there is racism because there is, you yes. know, um, yes. <clears throat> um, now the, the one thing that I can say is that, you know, what, what can I, what can I control and what I can't control? Right. I can control, you know, being in an influence. Um, and what I mean by that, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, in essence, changed the way, you know, this country was by his nonviolent uh, yes. um, practice. Yes. Let me just tell you this. He was influenced by this Indian guy in India called Gandhi. Yes. And he had a quote. And the quote, Deborah, was be the change you want to see in the world. Absolutely. What does that mean? Well, in response to myself was, I knew the, the trauma that I went through in my family, you know, I, I knew that was going to affect my brothers and sisters. I saw that, you know, and that what it took for me was to be able to do things that can change the trajectory of my family. Yes. And by doing that, I've had opportunity. I had a brother ask me about therapy. Now another person asked me about meditation. Another about fitness. I didn't push what they did. I just was the example. I was being the change that I wanted to see in the world. Yes. I can't control racism. Right. I can't control what they do, but I can control the mood and how I perceive it. Right. That's that's been my journey. Yes. And in that sense, it's it's really at 60 years old has brought me in again. I'm going to fight for racism. I'm going to fight for, you know, injustice. But 
I have a way in which I could be able to do things in which it can be able to shine a light to people and influence it in people in a way in which you say, you know what, this kind of makes sense. And that's what happened with Gandhi and Martin Luther King, because they could have fought against the racist practices of this of their countries, right. but they did something a little different. You know, it was nonviolent, which changed right. they, which changed the trajectory of both of the countries. So mm-hmm. in essence, being you being that change by one step at a time, by taking care of yourself, by yes. fitness, by mm-hmm. meditation, by doing the things that can, you know, you can be able to radiate your energy. Does that make sense, Deborah? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And hopefully this makes sense for um, everyone else who's watching us. Just definitely, you know, um, controlling what you can control, right, Tony? And that is what's so important from day in and day out. That's what we have to show up and do for ourselves every day. And when we walk that way and live that life, we actually impact so many other people because they're watching us, whether you're, you know, an uncle or aunt like we are, or whether you're parents, you know, other people watch us and then they learn from us and you just like show up as your authentic self and be transparent about your journey because, hey, it's not going to be easy and it's not going to be perfect. When you try to make it look like it's easy or perfect, then, you know, it's better to be transparent because at least we're being honest about our journey. But they're watching us. We're being we're being watched. So just being your authentic self is really, really important. So, yeah. Thank you, Tony, for that. Deborah, let me just share something that you said talking about be authentic. And, you know, what's the reason why I really pushed the idea of, you know, uh, domestic abuse, you know, within my family is because, you know, people want to see people like themselves. And yeah. so, you know, I, I can tell you that, you know, I mm-hmm. see, my dad, see my dad, you know, right. stab my mother arm up and, and you know, right. stab my arm up and, and things like that. And I use that as an impetus, mm-hmm. in which I will say, you know, I'll show an actual scar of my arm being stabbed and I'll say, mm-hmm. I wear my scars as medals. Right. That's right. That's powerful. Yes. Wear my your medals scars. of life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so in essence, I'm, you know, I have a sense of vulnerability in which I'll just tell them, this is where I came from, but you know, I'm here now. And yes. if I can do it, you can do it. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And you know what, Tony, we would be remiss without shouting out Cynthia Walker and Sophia. We love you and what you do. And I'm so proud of Tony. I, I did the walk for the first time. Um, last year, I hate that I didn't do it before, but um, our our fit family always in, in told me about it, encouraged me, and it just is is transforming. But what I do love to see are men like you, Tony, step up and go ahead and sh- as a man show up at these domestic violence walks because children, brothers, sons, they're all impacted by domestic violence. And when we just see women, um, that's not really showing the whole story. So as a man, as a black man to show up for that, that's really powerful. I I think, uh, Deborah, again, so powerful that you said that. And that's where, you know, in essence, where you see the trauma and you you see this, the way that we react to things, you know, it's a lot of anger, a lot of Mm -hmm. angst. And what I'm saying is that there's something called stimulus and response. Yes. Stimulus means something happens. Response is how you give it an attention, how you respond to it. Mm-hmm. Now you have these two. In between stimulus and response is your freedom. And what does that mean? That right. means you're able to, with meditation, and you're taking care of yourself, you can be able When something happens, instead of you losing your mind or losing your cool, you could be able to see it in a different different way. The way that King and Gandhi see it, you know, they could have, you know, had all these, you know, um, 
uh, um, fights, you know, against the country, but they changed the way they saw things. To, to, in essence, that gap allows you to have an empowered response instead of disempowered response. You want an empowered response. And the only way that you can do that is to be able to regulate your nervous system. You right. know, so you can be able to see something and step back for a second and just say, I can lose my mind or I can see it in some, some other way right. and change, change the trajectory. Does that make right. sense? That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Especially with our men, you know, in situations yeah. like that, you know, I mean, so easy. Look, I mean, listen, every so often, if I'm not well resourced, if I'm right. not taking care of myself, it's easy yeah. for me to fly off. That's why it's right. so important to stay focused on your practice. Yeah. And, and thank you for bringing that up because it is indeed a practice. Indeed a practice. It's not, we're on the journey just like everybody else, you know, it's not always going to be perfect. We are living, breathing human beings and we get impacted by trauma and grief and everything that we deal with as well as leaders and as as people who want to impact the world, we have to really put that mask on ourselves to make sure we're taking care of ourselves. So yeah. walking the walk is, is critical, yes. you know, for, for us as well as for all of you. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So why don't we do this, um, Tony, as we get ready closer to closing, why don't we go ahead and do a breathing okay, exercise, and then just, just to let you you all know, we um, I am on a meditation group with Tony. You can share about that, Tony. Okay. Um, I have been able to work up to about 20 minutes before my brain starts running all over the place. <laughs> so it's like, and, and it's like, I, it's like 10, I stayed at 10 for a minute. Yeah. Then I say, I'm gonna try 15. Now yeah. I'm on my way to 20. And it's rough just to get my, my brain to just settle down for a minute and just be still. Okay. Just be still. So Tony, I'm going to, I'm going to turn it back over to you. All right, Deborah, uh, just real quickly, I'm going to tell you a uh, couple of things on why you should do meditation and then how to, and it'll be really quick. Why you should do it? Number one, to transform, transform yourself so you can transform the world. Let's go pie in the sky. All right. So that's yes. one of the key that strengthen your mind, willpower, Optimize your immune system. Put your attention where you want, when you want, for how long you want. We can go on and on and on. The, the records show up, the, the power of meditation. It's just yeah. being able just to, and meditation, you can do it for one minute. You can do it for the whole weekend of Vipassana, you know, meditation. Just do it. Just do whatever you take, you, you can to be able just to be more well-resourced. How to do it, the five Ds, real quick. Number one, do it. Do the meditation. Take some time out, yes. 30 seconds, one minute, and just take a breath. That's meditation. Number two, do it with dignity. Your physiology affects your psychology. That means if you're slumped over, you're not going to have the, the effect than you, you would if you're sitting back, head up, you know, like the king or queen that you are mm -hmm. with dignity. Number three, and, and do it with a defined anchor. What does that mean? Meditation can be sometimes boring for people. So what can you use like an anchor? What an anchor does is it's a piece of metal that holds in place that ship. So you need something to hold you in place. So what can be an anchor for you? Um, a breathing, a mantra, heroic, Deborah, uh, your child's name or something, an anchor in which you just concentrate on that, you know, that thing for one minute or how long you do the meditation, a mantra. So that's an anchor. Number three, uh, number four, strong determination. Practice, 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 practice. Mm -hmm. And 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 do it again, which means you miss a day, you miss five days. Guess what? Go back and do it again. Don't beat yourself up. 
You know, this is, it's not because it's, you know, you're, it's you. It's because we're human. It yeah. happens to all of us. Yes. You know? So do it again. So right. what I'm going to do, uh, Deborah, for the meditation is we're going to do a two minute uh, meditation in which I, you know, I'm going to give you our wonderful bell that we have at, um, at Clear Mountain that I've been, in fact, it's pretty weather beaten there that we've, <laughs> we've, we've gone. But it's we go. What we'll do is what I need you to do is hear my prompts and then. I want you just to close your eyes or, you know, uh, yeah, close your eyes, sit up straight. And again, if you're having a tough day or anything like that, allow yourself to be in the moment. All right. So this is going to be two minutes. All right. So here we go. I'm going to hit this gong three times and then we'll go right in. back. Concentrate on a mantra. I am enough. I am enough. I am enough. I can do this. doing this for me. Big, better, stronger. You are a winner. You can do this. Taking a deep breath through your nose, down your stomach, into your belly. Exhale out everything through the nose for one past one minute. Inhale deeply. You got this. You got this. seconds. I love who I'm becoming. I love who I'm becoming. 15 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Open your eyes. Just feel the sensation, what you felt. Allow yourself to be grateful for the opportunity for some quiet time for yourself to recharge, to rejuvenate. And I appreciate you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Tony, for that. That was fantastic. So you guys can plug into that. And it just, it, it's transforming. And those mantras, I got to tell you, those mantras, those affirmations, I am enough. I like who I am becoming. Just to be able to say that out loud internally to yourself it changes so much for you so hopefully and the, 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 yeah. the thing that you said 
Deborah is just so apropos as we're closing is that we're inundated with other voices. Yes. We got the other voice yeah. saying you can't do it or, you know, your, Absolutely. your parents said, don't do this, don't do that. Your boss yes. said, do this, do that. You're not enough, this and that. And we're not talking. And then when we are talking, we're talking negative about ourselves anyway. So it's right. they're beating you up and you're beating you up. Right. You have a chance. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so, Tony, if they if anybody wants to get in touch with you, how would they do that? Because Tony's a phenomenal life coach. Um, how would you how would they get in touch with you? Well, Deborah, again, I'm, I'm so honored again to uh, know you've been friends with you, you know, for a while. And, um, you know, our lives have changed, you know, just learning from each other. So if there's anyone who is interested in essence, just learning about how they can be able just you know, meditation or, you know, motivation, fitness, you know, need someone to talk to, um, give me a call. My phone number is 732-207-4240, 732-207-4240. But the key thing, if I were to say anything at all, the world deserves your greatness. And the only way that you can show up for your greatness is to be able to take care of yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And thanks everybody for watching. You'll see this video as well. Thank you so much, Tony. Thank you were awesome. I appreciate you so much. And everybody have a wonderful Wednesday. We'll see you uh, again soon. We'll have Tony on again, probably not next week, but we'll have him on. <laughs> He'll come back. <laughs> He'll come back and visit us. Anytime. Um, but thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Take care and have a wonderful Wednesday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So let's see. Here we go.